<laughs> Who is your business partner? Um, my dad. How was shipping out the products? Um, shipping out the products was a nightmare. I remember when we hit our first 50 sales, I forgot that we had to be a physical product and actually ship it to our customers. I was really fucking overwhelmed. Hey guys, I've been keeping something for myself. No one's building really PPJ with me. I have like my team, which has honestly been saving me mentally. <laughs> Cause that's the only thing that I'm not alone. I guess to really sum it up, I just feel that I'm alone. <laughs> But I'm not, like I'm really not, like I'm really, really just crying because I feel hormonal. Do you feel alone sometimes? I think the hardest thing in entrepreneurship is feeling alone. I don't have any friends and I am an only child. So just imagine literally talking to yourself. I think there's a point, no, you can literally check my phone. I have audio recordings of me talking to myself because that's the only person that I can bounce ideas with. It looks pathetic, honestly. I know there's a lot of people around me and I compare myself a lot, and there's like so many people that support what PBJ does, but for some reason I still feel alone. I think it has to do with like not believing in myself totally yet. Yeah, I think I just feel isolated. Let me tell you what the biggest thing you need to figure out is. You, okay. Whether it's your friends or people like you, you have to hire people that love the shit that you and I hate. 50,000. We close this. We close hey, the sale. Hey, hey, we are we're still open. Sorry, sorry. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> did not see you there. Yeah, we're currently funding for uh, the startup. But um, I wanted to show you guys the most important thing I've learned in my experiences of running companies is you have to know when to delegate, because if you don't know how to have a team, if you don't know what to outsource, okay, you're not doing it right. Your time as the CEO is to make the executive decisions. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, remember that. I want to show you guys a little bit of the three steps I've taken for PBJ to, um, you know, get it to where it is right now. So what you're gonna do is, come here, come here. So I have a piece of paper and I'm gonna divide it into two areas. This is things that I'm good at, okay? And the other side is not so much. Like I, I'm pretty good at everything, but like not so much. I'm good at talking, planning, planning. Sales. Yes. Presentation. Stop, you're tooting my own horns. I'm really not that good at um, listening. You know, I'm, I like to talk, so maybe I need someone to, you know, listen. I'm not so good. You know, we're gonna leave it at that because I'm pretty good at everything. This is a simple worksheet you can apply to when you're outsourcing. And guess what? Jade, you might be asking, how do I know what to outsource, okay? Step two. Once you write down what you're good at or what you're not good at, you wanna find people fill these spots. All right guys, uh, so we're here at uh, just the, just where, uh, we're here. Got some advertising, you know, who needs Facebook ads? You got the real deal. Um, and we're about to get some people for our startup. Uh, yep. Massive growing company and uh, tons, of, tons of opportunity and backed up by huge, you know, huge investors. So who, would, who wouldn't want to join? Hey, 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 you, 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 do you? Do you, do you, are you good at uh, remembering and, and uh, listening? Is in... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Claire. Claire, I I'm Jade. Um, we're currently growing the fastest, um, you know, growing startup in the world and we're looking for, you know, new positions of people who can remember and listen and okay. I want to know that's you. You know, I want to know that's you. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, next meeting tomorrow. Okay, so Okay, good. thanks. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Jade, what is that? Yeah. That's how you get your team, okay? You source it by the quality lead, which is local. You know, a lot of these people are doing Fiverr, you know, Upwork, no. When you source it from the bread and, and where it starts, which is your home city, you get the most quality leads. Claire right there is an innovative thinker. Wait, does she know she's not getting paid? Now you guys know how to delegate. Step one is to always know what your weaknesses are. Step two, find people with those weaknesses. And step three, put it all together and, um, Board them on your team. We have Claire, we actually have two more other people that are very close to my heart. My business partner has been a key major help. When I was feeling like in a shithole with all the shipping products, my business partner really helped me step in and be like, you know what, Jay, we're gonna do this together. And that was like the first moment I didn't feel alone. So he said, Jay, let's go to Office Depot. We go to Office Depot. I remember it was like a Sunday afternoon. We get the packages, we get the bubble wrap, and then we head over to the library. Hey Jade, yep. what's going on? Okay, so we're packing 
our first 21 shipments of the lab uh, because it's just not inspirational. So me, my mom, and my dad decided to help out. So they're the realest people ever. And we're gonna put on stickers, ship them out so you guys can get your packages on time. Let's go. We were writing each and every single address by hand because we didn't know how to have a printer. My mom was there. Kind of yelled at her a few times too. I'm a control freak. Stop working on the job. You're fired. It's okay. It's okay. And I remember for each of those 50 products, we added the labels, we put the products in, and at the end of the three hours, we had a bunch of boxes of our product. The thing I was surprised is the packaging. You guys gotta check this out. There's literally no other space in this thing. It's like meant for this. And keep in mind, we bought this like a few years ago when we were doing like Amazon stuff. And the notebooks, like we didn't have packaging for it, but it fits perfectly. It's bubble wrapped and the pick the packing label works. So then we drove all the way to the mail room and we went to USPS to deliver it. Now here's the funny story, okay? USPS apparently doesn't just take international packages. We had packages all the way in Indonesia, Malaysia, Dubai. And I remember that was like freaking cool to have like over you know, international customers, but it wasn't so cool because we actually had to hand write each and every customs. And I remember we spent another like two hours at the postal office. My dad wasn't too happy. So if you see anything that looks loopy. Hey, I'm, I'm the most expensive labor you have, okay? Who is your business partner? Um, my dad. Some people get really surprised when I say that, but being related to your business partner has to be one of the shittiest things too, because you can never be emotional, but there's so much emotional attachment because he's my dad. And a lot of people think that we are, you know, it's a perfect situation. It's not, we fight a ton. I remember when we were shipping out the products, there were some arguments and yelling and fighting. Don't it's play the only around, one. It's Jake. the only one, they don't have any other ones. Yeah, but. This is look bigger. What was your reaction when your students got the notebooks in the mail? When the PBJ customers got their notebooks in the mail, I was floored. Um, people didn't know what they were getting. We kind of sold the product as like a mystery box. You can call me a scam. But I thought it was more fun and it added humor to our product. And basically, because I know it's a little confusing to um, you know, know how to start the lab, basically we have a packing slip right there. So when people open it, like they have directions on where to start because like I feel like if they just get the notebook, no one's gonna fucking know what to do. And when we saw the reactions on Instagram, I was nonstop seeing people super excited, super happy, super curious really. I think that's what made me excited. Like people were able to take a risk and I was also able to take a risk in my product as well. I think that's what made me super happy. Guys, this notebook is badass. Okay, first of all, look at the quality. Look at the quality. You see this string? Look at the material. It's all there. It One morning as I woke up, it was just sitting on a small white wooden desk with a message that read, Hello, I'm here. I was curious to see what was inside the bag, and inside was just a sleek black notebook. But this notebook was different. On the inside of the book it had a sticker, and instead of lines, the pages were dotted. I didn't know what I was getting myself into at the time, but I knew once I followed the directions and scanned that sticker, something was going to happen. Is you do not need to know everything. You do not need to know 100% of fulfillment, 100% of product development, 100% of marketing. If you know 80% of what you're good at, like if you're good at solely creating product, focus on that and get other help. Get other people to be, fill in those 100%. I didn't know how to ship products. I didn't know how to properly deliver things on time. And I had, fortunately, my business partner and my team, Monica and Clara, to help fill in those gaps. That was the first time I didn't feel alone. And I feel so often, I think entrepreneurs close themselves in a box because you know, you're like the one in control. Trust me, I'm a control freak and it was hard to give up some creative control, but I think that's what makes it so much more powerful. Having a team is crucial. You do not need to know everything. It was a crazy, crazy experience for sure. It was all worth it when I saw my customer's reaction. It's not a ton of people, but again, like it just meant so much that people were able to take a risk on a product they had no idea about. Um, and that's what I fight for. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching episode 2 of The Startup. Please give this video a like and share it if you enjoyed it because on the next episode, we're going to talk about how to raise money. And 
If anyone was curious, I will link below the episode one uncut, which is basically when I answer some of your guys' questions. I think a lot of people don't know how to take sarcasm correctly, and most of the things I give advice in this video are 100% true. I'm exaggerating it just for your entertainment. So I hope that's apparent. I don't even know why I'm explaining it, because I, I feel like most of you guys get what I'm trying to say. But in regards to the hiring, I do want to say one thing, which is like, if you have any questions on how I actually hire, the steps I do are legit actually how I grow a team. It's just like, I probably wouldn't go to my local grocery store. I would go and search it through Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. But you let me know if you have any questions so I can answer it on the next episode. I, I am so floored by your comments. Everyone who shared this at all like series has made my day so with that being said shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner leave me below a question feedback thoughts i'm trying to get better at making you guys enjoy some content that's hopefully educational and entertainment so with that being said i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in episode three of the startup and i'll see you very soon catch you guys in the next one Bye.